Hi there, I'm Callum. And I'm Roxana. Eight months ago, we moved to an amazing wee island on the west coast of Scotland called Isla. In 2019, we bought an ex ambulance and we spent a year and a half converting it into our perfect little home on wheels. Say hi to Tyrion Bannister. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. We're currently on Kilnoughton Beach, which is on Isla on the west coast of Scotland. And we came here in the afternoon as the weather is absolutely gorgeous and we don't really get this kind of weather at this time of the year. So we thought, come over here and show you our five favorite things that we love about our camper van conversion. So the first thing we want to talk about is our log burner slash oven stove we have in the van. It's not something you see in many camper van conversions. Because we live here in Scotland and we wanted to use the van all year round, we thought it was essential that we had a log burner because it's perfect, you know, when the when the temperatures are, you know, below zero, you're in the van and it's nice and cozy. We got it from a small company called Outback Stoves and to be honest, their customer service has been tip top. We had a few problems with the stove to begin with. They were remedied, we sent it back, they revamped the stove and, and they gave it back to us and you know, it was in really quite good nick. It looked brand new actually. And you know, and since we got it back, there still has been slight problems, but it's things we've managed to work out how to fix ourselves, you know, just with the regular cleaning. The one thing we just have to bear in mind with the stove and if anyone thinks of putting a stove into their camper van, is that yes it may look small but by god it heats up the van very quickly and if you put some timber or some wood in the fire just before you go to sleep there's a good chance you're going to melt and you're going to have to get out of your bed and open windows open the door at least that's the experience we've had one advantage we have living here on isla and the fact we work for a whiskey distillery is that we have a good supply of firewood in the form of whiskey barrels so I break, usually break down the whiskey barrels and cut them up and that's what we use for, for, for a fuel. They store really well. We also use this uh, log burner for cooking. There's two compartments on the stove. The one on the left is our fire pit. So that's where we, we light the fire. And on the right, there's a little door which leads you to an oven. Now, we really love cooking in the van. Um, so what we can use this oven for, mostly for us, is uh, potatoes. Uh, vegan burgers and uh, nuggets and things, things that cook in, the, cook in the oven quite quite, quite easily. Overall, I do recommend that if you can and if the laws in your country uh, allow it, you should have a log burner stove as a heating source and a cooking source in your van. The second thing that we love about our van is our artistic wall. When we decided to convert our ex-ambulance, we really wanted to make the space to feel as homely as possible. So even when we lived in our flats before and in our future house, there is always something artistic about our place. And we always want to support local artists. So we have, we've always had really beautiful paintings and pictures. So this is something we wanted to include as well. It's not finished. Um, this is something that we still work on, but these are kind of cool things that we have on our wall that makes our van more artistic and more unique. Over here I've got this really cool autograph from Donald Gleeson. Um, he's an amazing actor and my sister, she actually worked with him on Goodbye Christopher Robin. Um, and at the time I was a big fan of his work and I watched Ex Machina and I was absolutely obsessed and um, so for my birthday she actually asked him to get an autograph for me and I've got it framed and it's here. So this amazing beautiful artwork is from uh, Callum's cousin Alison and um, what she did she bought a frame with a picture of, of a Scotsman um, from military and she put a Callum's face on top of it 
Um, so it was a Christmas present which he got years and years ago. So that's why his face looks a bit dead. But we love it. It's amazing. <laughs> This is my cross stitch which I did of the van through, during second lockdown, I believe. I picked up a lot of hobbies in lockdown and this was one of them. This is probably our favorite thing on the wall. Um, this is an amazing artist based in Glasgow, Ross Muir, and he recreates really iconic portraits, paintings, and he made them more contemporary. So this one is called Square Go, and this is Van Gogh dressed in a tracksuit. And we absolutely love it. This is really, really cool. So this is a framed, po framed postcard and it was a gift from our really good friend Grace. Now, both of us, we've seen normal people and we absolutely loved it and had a little crush on Connell. So what she did, she found a postcard and Connell is dressed up as Jesus and he's saying, I'm never lonely when I'm with you. <laughs> So the third thing we love about our van conversion is our shower. Rox and I love to do a bit of wild swimming when we're out in the van and there's nothing better when you come in from that water. <laughs> now bear in mind we live in Scotland and it doesn't matter what time of year it is, the sea is always freezing. How was your swim Hen? Glorious. It looks so very, amazing. Very freaking cold to begin with. But once yeah, you're in... Nice. I brought you a gift. Oh, that's so cute! Foraged from. Oh my god, that's so amazing! <laughs> so when you come in to the van and the fire's blaring, it's nice and cosy, and then you jump into a hot shower, there is nothing better. <laughs> Gloriously hot. Yep. Oh yes. Oh, so good. Our shower unit's dead simple. It's an outdoor shower unit that's based in just at the door of the van. That means there's really good ventilation. It's connected to a 75 liter water tank and it runs on LPG gas. If anyone does decide to put a, a shower unit like this in a van, I would recommend having really good ventilation or installing it, you know, on a, on a door um, or similar to how we've done it. If you are really into outdoor swimming, one thing we would always recommend is a shower. It's worth making the space for it. When we did our van conversion, one of the things we really wanted to include was actually a whiskey cabinet, which for a lot of people may sound really random. Uh, but actually we've been working in the whiskey industry for the last five, six years. And we moved to Isla because we got a job at one of the whiskey distilleries. So it, seemed like a really natural step for us to have some really good pickled whiskies in our camping van. Our last and favorite thing about our van conversion is our bed setup. So thank you so much for all your comments in our van tour video. You were all surprised how the bed turned out and I was also surprised because I actually had no idea how it's gonna look like until Callum built it. Yeah, I was trying to explain to Rox, you know, when we were talking about the van design and, and how we were planning to lay out the van and I had this idea for a bed set up that you could tuck away the bed and you wouldn't really notice it was there. But I tried to do some drawings and I, I tried to show Rox my idea but she didn't understand it and she wasn't the only one. So what are you doing Callum? So right now I'm just trying to work out Exactly. Well, this is the base for the bed, so we're trying to work out exactly where we're going to cut. We're going to cut this piece of wood in half, and it's going to the cut's going to be almost in like a finger shape. So it's going to go down here, cut here, up here, all the way to the end, so that when they're, they're two separate pieces, they will sit like this when they're when they're down. And when you want to pull out the bed, you'll pull it out, and they'll meet. That'll make your the ba base of your bed.
Tera. The only way I could show my bed idea was to actually do it and thanks to Rox, uh, she had a little bit of faith in me <laughs> and let me just get on with it. And I think we've managed to come up with a pretty unique bed idea which we haven't seen in any other van conversions. So if anyone is really interested in how we built our van, uh, sorry, how, how we built our bed, then we will do a video in the future just to kind of explain and show you the process. Uh, so look out for that. So that's us in for the night. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Just want to thank everyone for all their kind of interactions on our previous videos. We're glad you're enjoying what we're doing. But I say for now, I think it's time for bed, Rox. I think it's think? time for bed as well. It's been a long day. Yes. So we're going to head upstairs to our amazing bed <laughs> and hopefully get a really good sleep. So see you guys in two weeks. That's us in bed, so good night. Night, everyone. <laughs> I'm trying to turn the light <laughs> over my foot. We're still awake. <laughs> <laughs> good night again. Good night. Hey.